How did Brittany Mahomes go from Mahoma non grata to everyone's Mahomey swiftly in more ways than one? If anyone is proof that an online hate campaign is survivable, it's Taylor Swift. In a 2019 interview with Vogue, Swift opened up about the fallout from her feud with Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. During that dark era, her social media posts were flooded with snake emojis and calls for the pop star to be canceled. Swift said, I don't think there are that many people who can actually understand what it's like to have millions of people hate you very loudly. Now, she's so beloved that she's reportedly made multiple billions of dollars from her 2023 Eras tour. And if Brittany Mahomes needs advice on how to handle haters, she can turn to the Bad Blood singer for help. Ever since my platform has grown, you know, the hate and the rude people have continued to grow as well. After Swift started dating tight end Travis Kelsey, she and Mahomes were filmed cheering for the Kansas City Chiefs together in a skybox at Arrowhead Stadium during multiple games. It seemed as though a new friendship was brewing, and at one October 2023 matchup, the gal pals even celebrated a touchdown with their own secret handshake. According to a Morning Consult poll, over half of all Americans are Swifties, to some degree, so Mahomes is associating with the perfect person to improve her image and introduce her to a massive new fan base. One fan declared on X, formerly Twitter, if Taylor Swift loves Britney, then I also love Britney. When the NFL's Taylor Swift era began, some fans pointed out that her unrestrained celebrating was received differently from that of Brittany Mahomes. One person tweeted, Some of y'all bitched about Brittany Mahomes going crazy and cheering on Pat, but are on here stoked about Taylor cheering on Travis. And I'll never understand the hate folks have for Brit. While some football fans did grow tired of the camera's incessant swiveling to Swift, perhaps seeing a popular pop star's chest bumping, ecstatic screaming, and jumping up and down with excitement made such behavior seem more acceptable in the eyes of Brittany's haters. In other words, it took Swift's presence at Arrowhead Stadium to make some people realize that they might have been too harsh on Patrick Mahomes' wife. Britney also proved a lot of people wrong by embracing Swift with open arms. Some of Britney's haters predicted that she wouldn't be happy about the singer's presence when Swift attended her first Chiefs game. One tweet read, How pissed do you think Britney Mahomes is now that the attention is elsewhere? But Britney didn't pout in a corner, and she hasn't flaunted her blossoming friendship with Swift on social media either. Her membership in Swift's evolving girl squad also inspired some curious fans to start researching why she's so strongly disliked. One fan concluded, the criticisms you people have of this woman boil down to misogyny. The July 2023 Netflix docuseries Quarterback also seems to have really turned around her public image. One fan tweeted, in part, I did not anticipate Quarterback turning me into a supporter, but here we are. That girl really holds down for their fam so her husband can be the QB he is. Another ex-user praised Britney's classy decision to keep the focus on her hubby's accomplishments and hard work, instead of speaking about herself during an interview promoting the series. It seems like all Britney had to do was stand by her man to win over some people who once were not her biggest fans. One new fan wrote, Britney used to irritate me, but she has been in Patrick's corner from day one, pre-NFL, pre-college. She is her husband's biggest fan, and I appreciate that. Britney never pursued Patrick Mahomes for money or fame, which is something she has ensured that Chiefs fans know. The couple met in high school, and Britney told CBS Mornings she didn't even know that Patrick played quarterback back then. Patrick has also done his part to improve the public's perception of his wife by speaking about how much he values her support. He told People, I think if I didn't have Britney, I wouldn't be in the position I am now. She helps me out a ton by taking stuff off my plate. Patrick Mahomes and Brittany Mahomes both hail from Texas, but the couple happily adopted Kansas City as their new hometown after Patrick was drafted by the Chiefs. They've won over locals by doing their part to make KC a better place to live, with one ex-user writing, Chiefs fan here, we don't hate on Brittany Mahomes. She is a good person. She has done so much for Kansas City. One way the Mahomes give back to their community is through their 15 and the Mahomes Foundation, which, as just one example, partnered with the Boys and Girls Clubs of America in October 2023 and donated over $1.6 $6 million to the organization. Britney said in a press release, This meaningful partnership will expand opportunities for kids everywhere and the places that have positively impacted Patrick and me. We are committed to doing all we can to uplift others. Britney is also big on expressing her Kansas City pride, which helps endear her to her fellow residents. During a 2020 Instagram Q&A, Britney elaborated on why she and Patrick were looking forward to living there for many years to come, and she buttered up the people whose opinions matter most to Chiefs players and their families. The people here are just the sweetest and greatest. Brittany Mahomes scored some major points with members of her community when she decided to help bring a professional women's soccer team to Kansas City. The certified personal trainer had a short-lived career as a pro soccer player in Iceland, so she makes an ideal co-owner of the Kansas City Current. Brittany's ownership group also decided to do something revolutionary by starting construction on the first stadium and training facility built exclusively for a national women's soccer league team. The total estimated cost of the project is around $135 million per ESPN. The stadium's mere existence will show 
young girls who hope to play professional sports someday that their hard work is valued as athletes. One of Britney's supporters tweeted in part in October 2023, Hey everyone who loves Taylor Swift and Travis, guess what we're not gonna do? Bully Britney Mahomes. Whether you like her or not, that woman has completely transformed and empowered women's sports in KC. Brittany Mahomes hasn't given her haters the satisfaction of allowing them to declare victory by shutting down her social media accounts, but she has become more mindful of what she posts. During her August 2023 Instagram Q&A, she learned that at least one of her followers would like her to update her socials more often. However, Brittany had to inform the fan, Unfortunately, the less I share, the less I have to deal with horrible people. The biggest lesson that I have had to learn is to not let random internet bullies who are hiding behind a freaking computer screen get to you. She previously told CBS Mornings that the backlash she faced for sharing that infamous video of her champagne celebration made her realize that she was, perhaps, oversharing online. Limiting her social media usage hasn't just given Britney's haters less material to work with, it's made fans start to view her in a different light. Instead of rolling their eyes over her raucous celebrations or complaints about refs' calls, their focus has shifted to other aspects of her life, such as her happy family and her work. One person tweeted in September, I don't want to see hate for Britney Mahomes. It's so misogynistic. She is a wonderful mother and wife who used to be a little annoying, but is humble now. Meanwhile, another ex-user drew attention to the lack of behavior for Britney's detractors to get outraged over. Their message read, The Britney Mahomes slander on here is so unwarranted it's crazy. First off, the girl hasn't done or said anything all season. Brittany Mahomes found a way to do some good in the wake of that champagne shower controversy. In January 2022, Patrick Mahomes' wife partnered with Charlie Hustle, a Kansas City-based t-shirt company, to create Team Brittany shirts in yellow and red, the Chief's colors. Proceeds from the sales went to a local anti-bullying charity, Red Card KC. Some of Brittany's belittlers learned that she wasn't quite as unpopular as they believed her to be when 2,000 of the tees were sold over the course of a day. Brittany vowed to make her own donation equaling the total amount of Charlie Hustle's sales. On her Instagram story, Britney let her fans know that she appreciated their show of support. She wrote in part, I know there are still so many good people out here, and together we are making a difference in the community. Britney also utilized social media to support another good cause in the summer of 2023. Clear the list. She filled her ex page with links to teachers' wish lists on Amazon to help them get the classroom supplies they needed for the upcoming school year. Britney tweeted, If you are able, please help all these lovely teachers out. It's super easy to order off their link and help fill their classrooms. One grateful teacher responded, Thank you so much. So blessed to have your family as part of our city. Brittany Mahomes has definitely learned how to keep her social media life positive. By regularly participating in Q&As on her Instagram story, she can make her followers feel more connected to her, and they don't have to be subjected to the hateful comments on her main page. Brittany often fields questions about her life as the proud mother of her two kids, daughter Sterling Sky Mahomes, and son Patrick Bronze Levon Mahomes. Her responses to some questions also make her more relatable, such as when she revealed her biggest motherhood struggle. She wrote in April 2023, I think for me it was just still learning to make time for yourself and other stuff and not just solely your child. When Britney told her ex-followers that Sterling had become a serious daddy's girl in a post around that same time, one fan replied, I'm pleased to read mostly kind responses here. Let's keep up the love and eliminate the hate. Way to go, Chief's Kingdom. Joe Rogan decided to join the Brittany Mahomes pile-on on his podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, in February 2023. At the time, Brittany and Patrick Mahomes were riding high from the Kansas City Chiefs' Super Bowl victory, which meant that Brittany's behavior was rubbing some people the wrong way. Some of her haters grumbled about her tweet saying that critics of her hubby's team owed them an apology, but Rogan decided to imagine what would happen if Patrick and his outspoken ride-or-die ever called it quit. The problem is they keep that same energy yeah. when you get divorced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they come after now. you. Yeah. They come after you with that same energy. <laughs> Britney didn't mention Rogan by name, but many of her followers assumed that she had the podcaster in mind when she tweeted, Something about grown men talking about someone's wife is real weird. Britney's tweet had her fans jumping to her defense. One fan tweeted, If you're talking about Rogan, you're being generous to call him a grown man. Your family is beautiful, and he's just a sad, sad man boy. While walking the red carpet at the 2023 ESPYs, Patrick Mahomes praised Brittany Mahomes' ability to put together killer outfits. He said, I have a great stylist. It's uh, Brittany Mahomes. Brittany has also used her apparel choices to rep the Kansas City Chiefs. In the game day photos she's shared on Instagram, she's often rocking a look with a pop of red or yellow. Her outfits tend to be varied and stylish, and they've scored the fitness fanatic loads of compliments. One winning look was a pair of red pants with a black bustier and a custom Mahomes 15 jacket. Another 
Another popular ensemble was the yellow quilted miniskirt, white long-sleeved bodysuit, and knee-high white boots that she was wearing when she and Taylor Swift watched the Chiefs' October 2023 matchup against the Denver Broncos. Britney's fans seemed to think that she was really hitting her stride style-wise with this one. One comment read, This outfit and hair is everything. 